Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me for today's podcast. Holy Spirit, we ask you, teach us, help us to be doers of your word in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to be looking at the podcast for March 27, and the title is The Worldly Virus. Our Bible reading is taken from Ephesians 4, verse 31, and it says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor be put away from you. Going straight to the devotion, as Christian believers, we must stand together against some things. So if you if you hear anyone saying that A.W. Toza preaches a good deal that it, that is negative, a good deal that is negative, just smile and agree. That is because he preaches the Bible. Here are some of the things we oppose. We are against the many modern idols that have been allowed to creep into the churches. We are against the unauthorized fire that is being offered on the altars of God. We are against the modern gods that are being adopted in our sanctuaries. We are against the world's way and its false values. We are against the world's follies and its vain pleasures. We are against the world's greed and sinful ambitions. We are against the world's vices and its carnal habits. We believe this spells out clearly the Bible truth of separation. God asks us to stand boldly against anything or anyone who hurts or hinders this New Testament body of Christians. Where the church is not healed, it will wither. The word of God is the antibiotic that alone can destroy the virus that would plague the life of the church. Today we are looking at the worldly virus. And we are being admonished to let all bitterness, all wrath, anger, and clamor be put away from us. As believers, we are called unto a life of holiness. We are called unto a life of righteousness. And the Holy Spirit instructs us in righteousness and so as a believer there are things that we oppose because the bible opposes it because the word of god opposes these things the spirit of god opposes these things and some of the things we have looked at here are many modern idols there are a lot of idols out there today even possessions can become an idol for those of you who say i don't bow down to any graven image Anything that occupies the place of God in your heart or your life is an idol. Your children can, can become an idol. Money can become an idol. Your job can become an idol. Your hobby, your ambition, your motives, anything that occupies the altar of your heart where God is supposed to occupy can become an idol. God must be exalted over everything else in your life. The Lord says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and he will add every other thing. But most times we make every other thing to become gods in our life. And after we have those things, we put God, we try to fit God in. So today, I want to encourage you to get rid of this worldly virus that wants to replace the altar of God in your heart. Every false values, false belief, vain pleasures sinful ambitions, carnal habits, everything that challenges the word of God in your life, everything that exalts itself over the Lordship of Christ in your life, you must challenge it today with the word of God. There's a prayer here that says, Lord, I pray that our church will be faithful to the whole word of God and that churchgoers will set themselves apart from the worldly, ungodly values in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray to the Lord today. We are the church. The individuals are the church. So when the individuals are healed and healthy, the church is healthy. So I want you to ask for the grace to be faithful for the whole, to the whole word of God. That will not obey partially. We will not observe some partially and leave some other parts. The grace to obey fully. The grace to live in total obedience to the word of God. Father, we ask you give us today in Jesus' name. Help us to separate ourselves from the worldly virus, O oh God. Lord, we ask tonight 
we ask this morning in jesus name amen thank you so much for joining me for today's podcast tomorrow will be another fantastic day have a blessed and wonderful day amen